Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So this isn't what I actually had planned for my first uh, clips on my channel into 2021. But as like most things in life, everything we plan for rarely doesn't happen in that way. Um, so I haven't been uploading on my channel for a little while. Um, I haven't been very good at all. Um, any of you who follow me on my channel, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, my subscribers have hit 300, which is absolutely incredible. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, but anyone who has followed my journey knows that I've been battling some health problems with what should have been two simple honey repairs, um, which several operations later has left me in quite an awful position in my side. Um, lots of problems with walking around, um, lots of problems with pain and discomfort and that type of thing. Um, so it's been really quite unbearable. But on top of that as well, um, I also have hearing problems. And I have something which is really, really quite, um, really quite awful, which is vertigo. Now, several years ago, when I was younger, I had real severe attacks of vertigo. Um, and with hearing loss and balance problems, with not walking all over the place and that type of thing, um, and sort of sickness and nausea, Quite, quite a difficult time in my life. Um, I was diagnosed with many years disease, question mark, and that was how it was left. Um, I don't have any hearing on my left side, um, and I struggle with my hearing. And now, sort of fast forward a couple of years on, what happens is I have two really quite bad spells of vertigo, sickness, dizziness, um, twice a year, usually twice a year. Um, I have been having quite a good spell of only having one, and actually last year I don't think I had any at all. But in prior years I've had I've had quite a few awful attacks of vertigo, sickness, dizziness, spinning sensation, not being able to move for quite some time, where my head has been just horrible, my surroundings with vertigo. Um, now about I'd say about a month ago now, I was, I have a very, very busy job. Um, so I'm in the process, I'm an accountant, so I'm in the process of, um, I'm a year into a new job and things are very hectic, very, very busy with uh, working through the pandemic and I have a government-based job. So I'm very, very busy with things constantly all the time. Um, and my role is very demanding. Uh, now, what, um, what I found was that my my day is very long um, and that I was finding that I was really starting to find that I had this sort of real horrible pressure over my head and I thought it was like a headache um, and it was really quite unbearable and there was quite a time where I, if you can hear anything by the way, there is a car siren outside at the moment and not particularly too sure where that's coming from, but I'm just going to continue going on anyway, because this is what I wanted to do on my channel this morning. Um, and what I have found is that um, when I was working, I was really finding that this pressure was really overtaking in my head. Um, and I, I could almost feel that vertigo was coming. And it was really um, quite awful, quite a horrible sensation. And it was really starting to take a toll on me um, to the point where I could really feel myself kind of going down with it. So for two weeks, I've had vertigo. But for the first week, where I had to take some time off from work, I was really feeling very under the weather with it. Um, I had to lie down, which is very unlike me. And as well as with the pain in my groin and everything as well, my head was the spinning sensation. If anybody does not know what vertigo is, it's sort of like where you can be looking forward and all of a sudden what you will find is that your head just zooms off to one side and it can be for me it can be a spinning sensation where the room is spinning or it can be just where everything goes off to one side um it is horrible we're just gonna have to take a break a moment and i'll be right back Welcome back. My apologies about that. Um, somebody was at the door, believe it or not, and uh, I had to just go and deal with that, but we are back. Um, so we were talking about uh, vertigo, and my vertigo seems to always be, rather than the room spinning around, it seems as though that um, everything from sort of a point of my view will just whiz off to one side. And every time I stand up to look around, it was a case that it was just going off, constantly going off. And of course, with that comes sickness, comes nausea, um, a real horrible sensation. So last week I had that really, really severely. Um, and it's unlike me. 
Very often because of my hearing problems, that's my parent by the way, I do apologise, very often because of my hearing problems, I do get a little bit of vertigo anyway, but sometimes it's usually, if I take a sip of water, if I take a couple of minutes, sit down, 20 minutes it passes, but last week it really did not. So I got in touch with the doctor, now I have regular medication which I take for this, problem with the hearing, the balance, that type of thing. When it flares up then I obviously take more of the medication. Um, I had the medication changed, and I started taking this for about a week, um, and it was an absolute nightmare of a week, it really was, with how my head was feeling, and I could barely sort of move around the house, and, and I could really feel, and what it's almost like is that there's a part of my sort of vision up here, and it feels like sort of out of out my head here, and I can feel something in my surroundings here, which is where it is, and it's almost like that that's where everything zooms off to that point, it's really horrible, and I've got a lot of pressure on my head, um, and comes with that, it's quite a horrible headache as well. So this started to lift to about the Saturday, and I felt a lot better, I was feeling a lot better, and I thought, goodness, we're through this, that's amazing, so I stopped the tablets. That was my issue there, where I shouldn't have stopped the tablets. Sunday, um, Sunday, I felt, Sunday morning, I felt really quite unwell again in the morning, and I thought, back already, what on earth is happening? Um, following this, I didn't feel very good at all throughout the day on Sunday. Sunday evening I went to bed. Um, now the last thing I remember is going in the bathroom, sort of sorting myself out for the night, and then sort of going in my room, and I remember the room spinning around as fast as anything. And um, it was absolutely horrendous, that's all I remember. Then I must have fallen off to sleep. And from that, the next thing I woke up in the morning, oh, you have this horrible, pain and pressure on my head to the point where it feels like that I have had a real bang to the head, so I've really banged my head. Um, throughout the night, I don't remember any of it at all, but I'd actually had a seizure. My mum and dad, because um, I live at home, um, my mum and dad had come into my room and apparently my mum was telling me that I was talking, I was making all these strange sounds, um, and that I was really quite unwell, I was very, very cold, I was very, very shivery. Um, this had happened before, this had happened before, um, in October of last year, uh, where I'd been to the GP, I had some tests and things, and it was kind of almost related around the vertigo. This time it's quite different because my mum said that my mouth had dropped to one side and I was struggling to get my words out and speaking. Um, very, very frightening. It was a very ex frightening experience for my mum and dad. My mum was near enough in tears, I'm told, by my other brother, and, um, very stressful, very awful evening. I don't remember a thing about it. I was just told that I was really very unwell, and I was very unwell for about an hour, and then they managed to sort of coach me around um, and um, with the medication and things, and I was okay, I was fine. Now you may think, why didn't my parents call an ambulance? Well, my mum actually suffers with something very similar, of labyrinthitis with vertigo. So we have seen my mum in some real horrific, real horrific episodes with this. We've called the ambulance several times, but we're now in a phase, if it happens, we know what we know what we're dealing with, we know what happens. I've had it several times as well, but I get this, um, but mine is around my hearing imbalance, which is slightly many ears type labyrinthitis, which is absolutely just horrific, spinning sensation when you're still, sickness, um, all sorts of things. My twin brother also gets this as well. So I don't know whether or not it could be something which we've got it from my mum or what's happened, but stress brings it on, so I don't know, I don't know. But um, this happened, so I felt very, very unwell on the Monday, really unwell. I could not get up at all Monday until around early afternoon, which is very unlike me, because I do not like being in bed. I do not lie in bed at all. Um, tried to get in touch with the doctor, could not get an appointment at all, couldn't be seen at all. Waited until the Tuesday, got through to the doctor, and they actually, it really frightened me, because they, they actually said that with a fun, it's called a thunderclap headache, that you could potentially have like a small bleed on your, on your brain, and I thought, goodness, this, this can't be happening, I can't find myself with all these health problems going on. Um, so I was taken into hospital, and I had a brain scan, blood tests, absolutely everything, my arm here was very, very bruised, which I'm not going to show you, because I'm quite embarrassed of it, because it looks awful. Um, and uh, luckily, thank goodness, thank the Lord above, um, my brain scan and everything came back fine, my blood test came back fine, and now I'm waiting a referral to a neurologist, um, because they think that this is uh, like a, a thunderclap headache, um, where it was like a, a thunderclap headache which had really 
sort of just like that initial bang to the head feeling um, after the vertigo. And they think that the vertigo was sort of linked, that my sort of body takes 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 me out of it for a short time where this vertigo is so severe. Makes sense, doesn't it? Absolutely makes sense. Um, really awful, really, really horrible sensation, really not nice. Um, so I just wanted to really put this on my channel. My channel is somewhere where I come to where I talk about things, I get things off my chest and it makes me feel better. Um, you may notice as I'm talking, my eyes aren't particularly great because I've still got a little bit of it here, so I'm not feeling particularly great at all. Um, but I really wanted to get myself ready today. I wanted to get my hair sorted. I always find it makes you feel better. Um, I've been led down for such a long time feeling so unwell for such a long time. Um, so yes, if you have any questions, please ask them down below. I have hearing problems, I have something, many as disease in the background. It's always been a question mark because they've never been. It's something which they can't do a test to actually fully diagnose. It's something where they eliminate everything else. And then if you're left with it, they sort of pinpoint you to many airs. But labyrinthitis, many airs, it's quite similar, um, but lots of things sort of going on. And that's just something I've had to deal with for a very long time in my life. Um, but I haven't had an attack of this for quite a long time. But I just wanted to get that out there. Um, and really talk about my channel. I always find that talking about these things as well it really keeps me sort of mentally sort of healthy. It because you're you're getting this out there. I talk to my family, and my parents, but are absolutely amazing. I have an amazing support network. But sometimes just you know talking about these things and my channel has been so great for this. So that's why I've been doing this uh, today. Um, so thank you very much for for watching with me. If you have been, um, I can't thank you enough for my support from my subscribers. I get some amazing comments and I really really can't thank you enough. Um, We'll be, as soon as I'm sort of back up and running, uh, we'll be resuming uh, the channel. Um, so please don't sort of hesitate by that. Keep keep following me, keep subscribing. I can't thank you enough. Um, in fact, actually, how I've got my hair started today, I'm going to see if I can manage doing a review for a keratin heat spray in a moment, which um, I have been looking at. So be sure to have a look at that as well. Um, OK, so I think I've covered everything there. So the vertigo, how my head's been feeling, hospital visit. Um, just the last thing I just wanted to cover, Monday's coming up very soon, that's the big appointment around, um, I'll be having to do a two hour trip which I'm just absolutely dreading, um, with my leg and everything with my groin with the hernia failed surgeries, two failed hernia surgeries, left with lots of pain, not really being able to walk around on that leg, a real severe limp, lots of discoloration to my foot and my leg. Monday's the big day for the appointment to see what's going to be happening. So I'll be updating my channel on that as well. Whether or not the mesh is going to be taken out, um, if they're going to um, do something with the nerves for me or what's going to happen just to be able to help me in life manage it, really. So it's been an absolute nightmare of an issue for quite a few years now. We're coming into the fourth year um, and it's given me lots of horrific bladder problems and things like that as well. So hopefully I hear some good news on Monday and I will be updating my channel on that as well. So thanks very much for watching. But until next time, I hope this is giving you a little bit of an insight in vertigo um had that good rapport with your doctor they have known me at my doctor's surgery with vertigo for quite some time so they know sort of my process of what has to happen i've been in hospital with it several times before but unfortunately sometimes it really is just that your body needs to work through these things as well our body is a temple as we always say and we need to look after it and stress is a big thing for me so perhaps i need to sort of eat my own words type thing thanks very much for watching and until next time we'll see you then bye bye now